Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews. This is a review of the Essential Punisher Volume 2. Uh, it includes issues 1 to 20 and Annual 1 and Daredevil 257 which was a crossover issue. And what you need to know about this volume is even though it's Volume 2 you really don't need Volume 1 or Volume 3. This is a very standalone. It includes basically the first Punisher volume on his regular series that lasted for quite a run and the cover price here is $16.99 but if you get it online it's probably like 12 bucks at conventions it's probably like eight to ten dollars and for that price this is totally and highly recommended and one of the key reasons I like this is the artist or the main artist in this series is actually Wills Potassio. You probably know him from the early 90s on the Uncanny X-Men. He was one of the image founders with Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, uh, Todd McFarlane. And he created Wetworks. Those were the guys with the golden skin armor. And this is basically Potassio's entire Punisher run. And he's inked by Scott Williams. Scott Williams, as you know, is a famous inker on Jim Lee in particular, and so it's always good stuff, but when you go through this series, for example, I'll show you this, uh, just the artwork here is pretty great and spectacular. Check out that use of black and white, very nice here. I want to show you another nice example. Uh, this is Portasio right here with his rendition of the Punisher. It's a very classic style Punisher with the suit, with the, the belt and the symbol there. And there's that Daredevil issue with the crossover when they were fighting over a criminal. Basically, Daredevil wants to bring him to justice and the Punisher being the Punisher just wants to kill him. So that was a, it was just a really great crossover. Uh, another example of Wills Potassio's art right here. Punisher all armored up, uh, going to war, and I'll just bring you, uh, showing you another great uh, art piece here. Just a uh, great use of black and white here. Black and white uh, inking the, the, the line work. Don't forget, this was in the art days when they actually drew on the boards and inked on the boards and not all digital like today. And just to, if you get this volume, it includes basically the whole run of Wills Potassio, Scott Williams inking, uh, includes uh, some Romita Jr. art. I'll check that out, line out art. That's Romita Jr. right there. Uh, Typhoid Mary is in it. Uh, Kingpin's in it. Uh, check that out. Pretty cool. Uh, what I really like about this volume also is that I consider this classic Punisher. And by that I mean if you were to write the Punisher and you want to know what his personality is like, all you need is this volume because it really defines the Punisher as a personality and as a character. Volume 1 was basically the Punisher in all his guest appearances in various books like Spider-Man and it ends Volume 1 on the first Punisher limited series with Mike Zekot. But this series is the one that really, in my opinion, defines his personality. Because in Volume 1, it was more like the genesis of the Punisher when the, the writers and artists didn't really have a handle on who he was and how to portray him. And sort of uh, just making it up until they have a status quo, so to say. And I say status quo here in a good way, because in this volume, volume two, it really gives you the Punisher as you probably are familiar with him from the 80s or the 90s in his personality, in his style, and who he is, basically. It's refined here, and it brings out... Uh, his best qualities as a character and basically his style which is pretty unique in the Marvel Universe in that he is essentially 
crosses that line of hero to anti-hero to villain and a character like this probably wouldn't last in the real world of course but in comic books like would Batman last in the real world let's be honest you know characters fighting crime with, with no superpowers would they really last long term in the real world but you know you suspend your disbelief and you enjoy the stories and if they ever make another Punisher movie, which probably at some point they will, you if they just read this volume two on how to write the character, you know, you would have a really good uh, character, a really good uh, portrayal. When I look at uh, something like the Goth Ennis, Steve Dillon Punisher, I really didn't like it. I really didn't like the, the personality and style of it. Even though I didn't read many issues, but I could just tell it wasn't uh, my cup of tea. Then they had to punish him when he was uh, like a Frankenstein, if you've seen that in recent years. I didn't like that whole Frankenstein Punisher thing. It goes against uh, the concept of who he is. They also had Daredevil. Uh, he was like resurrected as some supernatural uh, type character after he died a couple of years ago. This was during the Marvel Knights era. And all of that is not really the Punisher at his best, to be honest with you. Look at that. That's Potassio art. Scott Williams inking. Just amazing stuff. Look at that cover. Amazing. And even though these essentials, the negative is that it's in black and white and not in color. But you gotta realize that the cost of color is expensive and for a black and white it's much cheaper. But in a way, you also get to appreciate the art in a different style because when you look at the art, it's the pure inking of it from the pencils. It's uh, not, sometimes the coloring is very uh, intrusive because the colorists aren't good. And you, here you get to see like the crisp line work, the crisp art. Uh, the art's not cut off, even though it's tight on the center. You can still see all the pages, you can still see all the art. And overall, if this volume, which is retailing for $16.99, if you get it online for probably like the $12 range or even better at a convention, usually a lot of these dealers have it in the $10 or under range, $10 or under range, I totally and highly recommend this volume. As I said, volume one, not so essential that you must get. I, li I like this art just right there, just amazing panel right there. Again, Wolf's Potassium Watt, can't go wrong, Scott Williams inking him, just amazing stuff. Uh, makes you makes you think about the artists who, famous artists that we know now, their early work before they were famous, and you look at it and you could tell even though this guy, Wills became a great artist later on, you know, in terms of popularity, you could tell he had all the ability, all the style. Uh, right here, you know, you could tell the talent, and that uh, this guy's really uh, talented. Always liked his stuff, and never had his Punisher run, much less to get it all in one volume. And I know it's all in one volume because I checked volume three online, even though I don't have it yet. And he's not listed as one of the artists in volume three. So that's why I view the Punisher. Uh, Essential Volume 2. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, still a work in progress in terms of uh, my video style and how I'm going to be filming uh, books here. So excuse a uh, little shakiness there. And before I go, let's just do a quick rundown on uh, the writers and the artists. Basically, if you want to check this out, Will starts at issue 8. And his art lasts until issue 19. So basically, this whole volume is Wilson's art, inked by Scott, uh, inked by uh, Scott Williams. All in one volume of the Punisher. The writing is good. The writing is crisp, even though I didn't mention it much. Uh, Mike Barron, uh, very good uh, writing overall. And the mesh with the art is really good here. A lot of these stories are also 
uh, written in either one or two issues, you know, switching topics all the time. It's not like now where a storyline goes on for like five or six issues to get one complete story. Here it switches around, the villains switch around, and just overall, uh, I was really impressed with this book, and I'll give you the cover again if you see this. If you see this in the, the store cheap, volume two, highly re recommend picking this up. It's quite a cool issue, and for a price of like 10 bucks or so, to get 20 plus issues, you can't go wrong. Hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next review. Catch you later.